he turned against them and became a persecutor of them. Now, let's consider the teachings of Islam. Personally, this is my own opinion, at the m present moment I think Islam is the most sinister, powerful force opposing the truth of God at work in the world. It's a it's tragedy that so many Christians in the West have totally misunderstood and underestimated Islam. If it once gains power, it will first and foremost suppress the Jews and second suppress the Christians. In Muslim countries throughout the centuries, Christians and Jews have been given the title Dhimmi, which means second class people. It rather suits Islam to have some of them around, but to keep them in such a low and debased condition that the superiority of Islam is manifest to everybody. Ruth and I were in Pakistan in 1985 with a, preaching the gospel there. One of the first things that happened was we were taken to visit the Jewish community, the, I'm sorry, the Christian community in Karachi. And I still remember the awful sense of physical sickness when I saw the squalor, the poverty, the debased condition. They had open sewers running in the streets. They just went to the toilet out in the open. And this was the picture of Christianity presented to the people of Pakistan. It suited them, you understand? They didn't want to eliminate them totally. They just wanted to demonstrate the total superiority of Muslims over Christians. For instance, Muslims...